at its most basic, Stipple is a dot drawing program. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch it, and I think I can describe it a little bit better with a video. So the launch screen comes up. You can uh, hit new drawing. And I'm just going to leave the settings at totally default just to give you the, the most basic idea. All right. So you'll see faded in the background is uh, the Stipple S logo. So if you just draw on your screen with a stylus or your finger, uh, it starts to draw the dark parts of the image. Um, you can hide your, you can hide the background layer with this ghost icon in the bottom right hand corner and toggle it back and forth on. And you can delete your entire canvas with the trash icon in the top left. So if you uh, want to get the main menu back, because that's where we're going to start this, uh, hit the, I the, the restart icon in the top left corner. This will give you a message about starting over. Just hit yes. And in this case, we're going to load uh, an image of Abraham Lincoln. Uh, so again, I'm just going to leave everything at default and I'm going to hit start image and you'll see that Lincoln is, uh, in the top portion of the screen, um, to, uh, to reposition him in the bottom left hand corner, hit the, uh, the image icon. And then in the middle of the palette, there is an image position menu. So if you hit the, uh, if you hit the little square photo icon with the arrows pointing out of it you'll be in reposition mode <clears throat> so from here we can move the image we can pinch zoom the image and we can uh we can rotate the image so i want abraham to take up most of the screen for this demonstration and then uh a lot of a lot of people have some trouble with this to get out of image reposition mode, just toggle this, uh, you just gotta hit the glowing position button again, and now you're back into drawing mode. So, uh, just the basics, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw Abraham. And then I'm going to toggle the visibility of my background image. All right, so that's pretty cool to start with. So now that we've drawn the dark spots of the image, uh, we, can, we can take this up and do something even cooler and draw the light spots of the image. So if you, uh, if you press the color icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, the color dot, it'll bring up the, uh, the color menu. Now, it, to explain the color menu, we have a color select. If we, if we press anywhere on this uh, color strip, we'll change our dot color, as you can see. And we can uh, undo anything up here in the top. There's uh, two, a left and a right arrow. That's undo and redo. So I just hit image save. That was an accident. Um, so now to change the background of this image, uh, in in this portion of the palette, there is uh, three dots in a box. And if we hit this, and now the box itself is, is glowing, now we can change the background. So in this case, I want to pick, uh, for this example, and you'll see why in a second, I'm going to pick a, a medium gray tone. And then I'm going to toggle back to, uh, to the draw, or so the dots are glowing. So now I'm picking my, my dot color. So now I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick white. And if we started to draw on this image, we would start drawing in white, but we don't want that because that is, uh, that doesn't look that good. So I'm going to undo that. Now the next palette we'll talk about is the, uh, the levels palette. So it's the, uh, the, uh, curvy line icon will bring up the levels palette. Now I'm going to get into this in the uh, in the final video more, but for this demonstration, if you just hit this icon right here uh, next to the gradient strip, it'll flip around 
what portion of the the uh, image you're drawing. So if I have white on the right, now I'm drawing the light spots of the image. And now if uh, if black is on the right, I'm drawing the black parts of the image. But again, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to undo it. So now with this, or excuse me, get white on the right. And I'll hide the palettes. You can hide the palettes by pressing the button that brought the palette up, or there is a icon in the, the top right of each of the menus, a little X icon that'll close the menus out. Now, if you have a bunch of menus up and you want to get rid of them all at once, this uh, this icon over here in the uh, in the bottom right, the third icon from the right, will just collapse all of your palettes. So if they're covering up the screen and you want to get rid of them, do that. And if they're covering up the screen and you just want to hide them temporarily and hide all of the interface, this uh, icon, the first icon in the bottom right, will toggle hide all the menus. So getting back to this, let's finish up. We'll keep drawing Abraham. And that shows you the basics. Now that's just the black and white. That's just a, a three-tone image that's just using black and white. Now we can do this again. Let's see what we are in the clock. Six minutes. All right, yeah, I don't think this is too long. Um, we can We could start over and pick a more interesting color let's say a bright green for the light spots of the image and then let's switch to say uh, a dark purple and we'll toggle the, uh, the levels palette so the dark so black is on the right and we'll draw in the rest to Abraham. Now, you'll find that this method is most successful if when you're drawing the dark portions of the image, you're using a darker color than the background, and when you're using, or when you're drawing the light spots of the image to use a color that's lighter than the background. And I'll show you what I mean, because if we go and we switch this to, say, a dark background, again, we can, we can toggle to the background mode by pressing the uh, three dot button. Now, all of a sudden, <clears throat> the dark spots, the shadows, are now kind of glowing, and they they're it, it it gives it not a it gives it kind of more of a surreal effect rather than kind of just a a more natural artistic effect, which is just with as I said, make sure that the the dark portions of the image are darker than the background, and the light portions of the image are lighter than the background. <clears throat> of course. Your style is going to vary. You can do what you want. Um, but uh, so if I were to switch the background to light, now all that green stuff on the face, now that looks like muck on the face. Whereas before when it was in the gray, you'll see that it's uh, it all kind of looks even. It kind of looks like a natural image. It just has different hues than, uh, than you would see with the black and white. Um, I'll go over some of this opacity and hardness in the next video. Uh, but one thing to know is if you want, is there is a, uh, I'm going to go back to that gray. Whoops. Uh, you can, every time you draw a dot, it's going to take that color and put it into your color history down here. So you can go and select the dot color that you had previously. So that's convenient. Now, if you want to push a color directly to that gallery uh, or to your color history, just tap the uh, the big color box and it'll push the color in there. All right, so that's going to wrap up video one and we'll go into uh, some some other palettes and effects in the next video. Thanks for watching.